So you probably don't need the first part of this because you're already in Blackboard. So hello, welcome, congratulations. But yeah, um, for future reference, um, when you go into Blackboard, when you're able to log in, you should see your um, classes that you're in with Blackboard. <coughs> Excuse me, here's our class. And like I said, I've um, eliminated <coughs> excuse me I've eliminated um, a bunch of buttons on the side I've just put documents instructor help and uploads for Monday and I'll, I'll explain in this video tutorial exactly what you're supposed to expect to find in each of these okay so first of all if I click on doc well actually we're in documents you're seeing The documents. Hold on a second. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, my dog was out there barking. Anyways, um, okay, I'm just going to move the interface over a little bit here so you can see what I've got under the documents. And so as soon as you go into this class, you'll see the documents. So here's the original syllabus. And then the, this is where you can find the first chapter of the book. So if you're just getting started, you could click on that. And then you could go to the uh, the Course Smart page, and then when you click on that, you've got basically the first chapter. So go to take a look, and then you've got. Uh, so this is the uh, Course Smart reader, and you can see. Yeah, you know, the screen's a little tight here. Let me see if I can get more of it for you right now okay there we go um, and then the next so here's page FL1 and then you can read through that and all the way down and then you can click on next 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 and it'll go all the way through the uh, the first section or the uh, first lesson as it is called because so there's nine excuse me sessions there's nine sessions in the book and so here you can see the nine sessions um, although you don't have access to this but you could you know if you haven't bought the book yet and you want to get a um, save some dollars you could you could actually buy um, this version for about half the price I think it's sixty five dollars you know, and then you would have access to all of the, you could download all of the stuff and, and you work with it here. The uh, other thing I'm, I'm, let's see, I made, okay, well, when you get to the end of reading all the way through the whole book and, um, you know, try out the exercises and things that are on here, what you're going to do want to do is go to the, uh, okay, so here's the end of everything, the end of this first section. The, uh, the first thing you'll come across is this practice assignment. So it's called review assignment. You know, you can get the object file in another section that I have from Blackboard. So you can download that. This is a practice. You don't have to turn this one in. But I'm going to click to the next page where you have the case problem. So this is the one you'll be turning in, case problem one and case problem two. And you'll do th those two for each of the sessions in the book through the whole semester. So that's that's the assignment. Now where you'll turn them in and is here in the upload Mondays. So on Monday at 8 a.m., you can click right here. And right now this is what you'll see until 8 a.m. on Monday for the, not next Monday but the following uh, you'll see down here where you can submit your work so there, there's two places you can browse to your computer to upload two files for this assignment okay so that'll be under upload on Monday so that's Okay, so documents is the main location I started, and I 
jump I went off into the book and then here is the uh, list of projects so if we click here you can see exactly okay so tutorial one will begin on the 25th and it's due five days later on Monday the 30th and then here's the second one and you can start reading ahead on all this stuff and gathering an understanding of this um, you know reading and uh, this explains everything um, I repeat all assignments are due in Blackboard before midnight on the following Monday they're assigned the upload appears as a quiz which allows you to upload your submission so it, it would actually you'd say take the quiz and you know I'll go through this uh, at some point on this video and you'll see exactly how to upload your assignments okay so after 8 a.m. before midnight on Monday submit your work the end of each nine sessions in the book has a review has a review assignment and case problems I encourage you to you know go through that review assignment but then you know so you're not required to turn it in but just go through it to get an understanding and then the uh, there are two case problems for each section and you're welcome to do the third which is called a challenge but you're not required if you uh, if you go through it and you want to turn it in for extra credit after you've completed the actual case problems one and two and you can arrange you know so discuss this with me but uh, we'll work out how you would submit your extra credit after those originals have been done okay so uh, tutorial one all the way through number nine and then here's where they are in the book so hopefully that helps clarify stuff under documents okay the instructor this is me there's a picture of me and then here's my email address notice this is a gmail address and notice also so I have the gmail address www and then there's this plus well I'll explain that in class sometime but I would just recommend if you don't if you don't already have a gmail address get one you know you may have Yahoo you may have Comcast you may have I don't know you may have I, I just highly recommend Gmail and I'll explain why and then here's uh, actually here's one reason this is my Google phone number for that Gmail address um, and then office hours you can get a hold of me and we could arrange um, this this site here is the uh, basic link to my educational stuff and um, I told the class I was going to post stuff up here but now that we've got the uh, blackboard I don't need this but here it is um, I bumped this one down and called it game and then here's where you would go and then if you want you could watch this YouTube video about the school if you want care to and then below here is where you would go to 2011 and then for the summer okay so you'd go to summer and then you'll find all these exercise files that I've put up here for um, for this section one but I've also got it where else did I put it I think I've got it in blackboard for you as well um, so you could download this this exe and uncompress all your files there is also at this at the website that the book gives you they give you the application to the zip program they give you the application to uncompress files so it's right on the uh, the website actually I think here's the link to it no this this must be the link to the book but anyways this is my site and we're, we don't really need this stuff anymore because so, we've got our blackboard okay so the instructor where we found my website and then there's help now I actually renamed the discussion board I just call it help because in here I'm gonna also post this video see it's not there right now but I'm gonna come back later and, and I'll post it in here 
um, or somewhere in here. I'll have to I'll have to figure out where you found this from. Um, okay, the forum. You may not see the forum, so you may just see general discussions. And when you click on that, you can read how to. <laughs> There's Maggie. She, she's barking at somebody. All right, hold on a second. All right, she's calmed down now. Anyways, to create a, uh, so I post it with something and you can read it. Click on this. So here's a discussion that I created that explains how you would create. You know, let's say you have a question about something. You know, it just sort of spells that out. You know, right now, I'm the only one with anything in here. But uh, eventually there'll be like, you know, people will either add to this or ask questions or reply to this. So if I go back to, let's just go back into it. So if I go back into help, okay, and then if you click on general discussion, you can add a question or a, th a thread. So what I would prefer is if we came up with a couple of, you know, like, uh, topics, you know, like I suggested here, like the book, right, or exercises, you know, rather than coming up with a whole bunch of, you know, threads for every question is to come up with general, um, I, you know, concepts and then ask questions about those. So we'll, we'll see, just, you know, put up what you want. In here, I've also provided the ability for you to, if you want, you can go back and edit your thread or you could delete your thread or change it so just notice you know some of the functionality you, that you'll have you may not see the same thing in your interface as, as i have so just you know click on it and try it out and uh you know see how it works for you okay so that's the help and here's the upload and then Underneath these are my links. Under these are the standard tools for uh, communication. You know, so if you wanted to send messages to or emails, um, there's also there's more things in here. There's the roster and some other things. If uh, if you could, at, when you get time is um, make your web page so my web page is actually this thing instructor so you kind of have those you've got some more things in yours so you can actually go you know I if I click on this it's just gonna give me an error but you can click on this on yours and you can add, add a photo and you can say something about yourself or about your what your interests are and the other thing is, um, I mentioned somewhere in here how your um, what is it? Your personal information. Make sure that's correct. So under, I actually have a link where I talk about it. It's it's in the documents. Here, let's go documents and edit personal information. So if you click on this, it takes you right into all your personal information you know so make sure that that's up to date so that when I go to send you an email it'll go to your email address as opposed to your junk mail or some place that you don't read or maybe you don't even have anything assigned in there so do what you can to correct that information um, so there I uh, I'm gonna stop now and then I can add uh, additional tutorials like this about things like you know going into flash or whatever I think what I'll do now maybe is go add a, a, a section in the um, well here let's do that I'll go to help right go to general discussion and then uh, I'm gonna add a thread here and I'm gonna call it um, video oops, video V A D E O T U T O R I L, and then <clears throat> so if you have something that you need help on, you could maybe ask a question in here. Um, so I'm going to submit this, right? So there's 
this it's blank with nothing written in it because I didn't put anything in for my uh, comment so bad example but that should give you an idea of, of how okay so if you wanted to you could reply to this and you could say I'd like to I need some help on something maybe you could do a video tutorial on whatever you know so you get the idea all right um <clears throat> so good luck and we'll catch you later all right bye for now